What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 57 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be looking at trainer intro music, or the music that plays when a trainer spots you. First, what we're going to be doing is downloading the songs and converting them so that way they can be used in our game. And then after that, we're going to implement them for all of our different trainer types. With that said, let's get into it. So the very first thing that we need to do is find some music to download for our different trainers. What I've got here is a youngster. So I think it'd be good to download some youngster music and then maybe have some last music or cool trainer music for our different trainers when they spot us. So I have it open here. What I like is this website, KH Insider. I'll link it in the description, but you can go to all the different Pokemon games and just download different tracks from their soundtrack. So I'm looking at Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire now, but if you want to, you could also download from Pokemon Black and White um, or any other Pokemon game. So this track right here is just called Look, Shorts Boy. I think that's what they call youngsters. So we can just click on it and play it. Ooh, that's pretty loud, but pretty fitting. Cool. So we can just right click, save link as, and we want to throw this into our game audio folder and then into the ME folder. And we'll just call this youngster. Perfect. There we go. So now let's actually download a track from Pokemon Black and White for Lasses. I actually already have it selected. This one's just called Spotted Lass. How does that sound? Does it sound pretty good? Not bad. All right, let's save this one as well. And we'll just call this one Lass. One thing to note is these are coming in as MP3 files and MP3s aren't exactly the best when it comes to Pokemon Essentials and load times. In fact, they're pretty, pretty bad. So now that we have those two files downloaded, we need to convert them to a different file type that works better with Pokemon Essentials. And I prefer OGG. So if we want to convert them, my method of choice is to download the free audio program Audacity and throw them in there and convert them that way. So let's go into our game folder. And here is our ME folder. And really what we can do is just take these two. Well, I'll do them one at a time. Let's take Youngster first. Click and drag right in there. And it'll probably be a little bit loud, so what we can do is Control A, Effect, Amplify, and lower this a couple decibels, maybe minus three. There we go. So now what we can do is File, Export as OGG, and I guess we can just call this Youngster, throw it in the ME folder, Youngster. And then I just like to clear all this stuff. There we go. Okay. So now our youngster OGG has been created and is now in our folder. Now we can exit that out and find our last MP3 and drag this in. I don't know why clicking and dragging has been not working very well on my mouse. Whatever. Control A, effect, amplify. Let's take this down negative three as well. Cool. Then we can do file export as OGG and we'll call this Lass OGG and clear that. Cool. So now we have a Lass OGG and a Youngster OGG, and we can just delete the MP3s now. We don't really need those. Cool. So now that we have our two audio files that we want to use for our different trainers, let's go into our game folder once again. Here we go. This is our game folder. And what we need to do is go to the PBS folder and scroll down to trainertypes.txt. What you want to do is open this up and scroll on down and look through all of your list of different trainer types. And in here is where you need to edit in the name of the audio file that will play for your trainer intro. Since we named them Youngster and Lass, this will actually be very easy. So here is our Youngster, it's number 37. And what you want to do is in front of that trainer's gender, right here in between these two commas. Right now they're empty, but we want to fill that with the name of the audio file. So this will just be youngster. And then for last, we just type in last. If your audio file had a different name, like if you called them youngster intro or, you know, youngster music, then that's where you type in that. But we named them just youngster and last, so these should work perfectly fine. So now what we can do is go in and we've already made a youngster, but let's copy and paste him. And let's make this a lass. There we go. 
we'll call you Lass, and your name shall be a uh, girl. <laughs> there we go. A very good girl name. Last girl. So now what we have to do is really just quickly make last girl. And that should be pretty easy. We can go into our trainers.txt. Just scroll on down somewhere. I've got a whole bunch of different trainers in here. Ah, screw it. Let's just copy and paste this right here. This will be trainer type last name girl how many pokemon do you got you got one and what pokemon do you got um how about you have a starly at level 10 perfect there we go so now we've got last girl and youngster ben so when we cross sites with youngster ben our youngster music should play and when we cross sites with our last girl the last music should play let's get into the game now and give it a little listen shall we oh yes we shall and it shall sound good all right so now we can launch our game here we are i'm right next to them on route three so let's listen to that youngster music Ooh, he likes shorts listen to that one thing to note is when the music stops playing since it's an me it won't loop I don't know if it's not looping because it's an ME, but it plays once, and then once it's done playing, it'll fade out, and then the music from the map will play. So I'm letting it play out all the way right now. Most players will just mash enter and start the battle anyway. But, there we go. Now, let's do this. God, that is so loud. Holy moly. <laughs> Alright. What I'm gonna do now is use debug to treat the battle as a win. Hold control and select run, and then you can run from them. All right, so now let's do our last battle and listen to our last intro music. Ooh, there it is. She likes shorts too. They are comfy and easy to wear. In fact, I'm wearing shorts right now. I can't blame you for liking shorts. I'm gonna hold control now just to skip the battle. I lost. There we go. So if you use debug to skip the battle, you'll notice that the music keeps playing. That's because it never starts the battle. So it never has a chance to stop the Emmy. So the Emmy will play once and then be done. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, we can add one more trainer just so that way we can run through the whole process one more time to be comfortable with it. So let's try a cool trainer. Let's scroll on down. Actually, we could probably just control F cool. No, oh, this guy just says cool music. <laughs> Maybe I could find cool trainers from Ruby and Sapphire also. They're around here, right? Yeah, look, cool trainer. How's that sound? Ooh. So that's, pre that's pretty jamming. Okay. Let's right click, save link as, and we'll call this cool trainer. So once again, that goes into our ME folder. As a refresher, ME is a type of like sound or sorry audio file in pokemon essentials that will stop all other playing sounds it'll overwrite the bgm and then play so me's are typically used for little jingles like this so what we've got here is our cool trainer mp3 let us click and drag it once more oh my gosh i don't know why my mouse doesn't want to click or drag anything come on mouse okay here we go it's gonna do it this time there we go i swear to you third time's the charm Control A, effect, amplify, let's lower this, minus five, I guess, gosh, these are so loud. I need to lower the um, battle music in my game also. Anyway, so now that we've lowered the audio on that, we can do file, export as OGG, and we'll call this cool trainer, clear, okay, it'll export, there we go. Save changes, nah, I'm just closing Audacity now, because I don't think I'll need to add any more different audio files today. So we can delete the mp3. So now all that's left is cooltrainer.ogg. Let's go back in to our trainertypes.txt. Scroll on to where we can find our cool trainer. There we go. So there's cool trainer underscore m and cool trainer underscore f. We'll just have them both use the cool trainer audio. Easy peasy. Paste that cheesy right in there. Cool. So now, if a cool trainer, male, or cool trainer female spots you, it'll play that song. If you want to, you could even play the song for another trainer. If you want campers 
to play cool trainer you could do that black belts crush girls a lot of trainers could use the same music as long as they do play music it does bother me sometimes pokemon games don't use this feature and it feels kind of like empty when they don't i really like it when they do uh let me there we go cool trainers were 35 there we go just to double check i didn't want to have to scroll through the whole list there he is so we will make you a cool trainer underscore m and your name will be mark there we go and then just to show it off, let's make a cool trainer underscore F. And your name will be uh, Emily. I'm so bad at coming up with girl names. There we go. So everybody likes shorts because they're comfortable and easy to wear. I can't blame them. Shorts are super comfortable and easy to wear. So now let's just make those both into their trainers. It was a cool trainer underscore m and then you are a cool trainer underscore f your name is mark your name is emily and the contents of their pokemon team doesn't really matter too much just so much as we can actually just so long as we can start the battle with them and listen to their intro music so yeah this is a feature that i would like to see more pokemon games use because it feels so empty when they cross eyes with you and they they don't say any like they don't play any music like, real quick, I'm gonna use debug to cheat, hold control, and walk past that guy. Take a listen to what it sounds like when a trainer normally spots you. Like, how about this? There's a picnicker and a camper here. When they spot you, there's just no music. It's not playing anything dramatic, you know? Battle me now. No, I'm gonna hold control and skip. There we go. I prefer when the music actually plays. Check this out. Now, let's go listen to our cool trainer music and see how much cooler it is. Damn, walking through walls is so great. Okay, here we go. Here's our cool trainer. Let's take a listen to this. Ooh, that's fancy. Ooh, they got my jam. Ooh, dang. And then the battle starts. And then my ear, <laughs> my ear drums get blown out. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, it works for cool trainer underscore M. Now let's test it against cool trainer underscore F. Hey, okay, and that music plays too. I'm gonna skip this. Perfecto. It's working as intended. See, how, how nice is that, that we have intro music now on all of our trainers? It feels more official now, doesn't it? it? Feels nice. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this to be helpful. I hope that you start applying tr in trainer intro music to all of your different trainer types. If you're adding new trainers to your game, then try adding trainer intro music to them as well. Um, this music also plays when you interact with them, by the way. Um, I guess I should showcase that before I end this tutorial. I mean, I'm almost at the very end, but check this out. If you, rather than crossing sites, if you interact with them, it'll play the music, which I think is very important. There are a lot of Pokemon fan games I've played where the trainers are walking around or, or and you think that they're NPCs, but then upon talking to them, it turns out they're a trainer battle. Using this method, when the music changes to signify a trainer battle is about to start, then players can clearly know, hey, this is a trainer. <laughs> I mean, the fact that a battle starts anyways also is a dead giveaway that they're a trainer. But yeah, I like the trainer music. I hope that more people implement this in their Pokemon fan games, and I hope that you found this episode useful. Sorry if my, my, my brain was a little bit scattered. It's been a while since I've made one of these, but I have a couple on my to-do list that I think I want to knock out sooner rather than later and uh, get them over with. And I mean, not get them over with, but you know, topics that I want to cover. Anyway, um, be sure to follow my Twitch because I do want to start streaming again. I mean. I've, I'm such a broken record at this point. I go on and off. I, I, uh, I'm a busy guy who's got a lot going on. If you want to ask me more personal questions about some of the stuff that's going on, feel, feel free to swing by my Twitch when I'm streaming. I'll put out little um, notices on my YouTube channel as well. But uh, yeah, thank you once again so much. I appreciate you. And join the Thundaga Discord. <laughs> and yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.